Hi princess, this is the China princess and I am back to do a video on um, my up-to-date product, regimen, hair, you know, anything to do with hair. I got a request and I can't remember her username but she requested for me to do an updated product regimen, um, product, you know, what I'm using now for my hair. Uh, if you don't know, I've been transitioning for about, a, well, a year now. Um, next, in the next two weeks, I'll be 13 months, so without a perm, so yay, Tasha. And as my transition is going, it's getting easier to take care of my hair, so that's kind of like a big plus for me. Today is Friday. Um, tomorrow is my wash day, so I just swooped my hair into a messy bun today, and I'll tell you the products that I use to... Um, do this style at the end if I can remember. Okay, so let me start off with um, my cleansing products, okay? I use one type of, well, two types of, it's not a shampoo. This one isn't. Um, of course, you've, if you watch my video before, you know I use the curls, the creamy curl cleanser. Although I haven't been using this lately. Um, I gotta try to get it back in my regimen. I have not been using this lately, but if you're looking for a good cleanser, this is really good, so you can try this. This is what I use most of my transition but how um in the past two months I've been looking into the Shea Moisture line and that's what I've been using a lot lately so as you can see <laughs> this is I'm trying to see it right here it's about right there I've been using this religiously um the organic raw shea butter moisture intention shampoo I love this shampoo it doesn't leave your hair feeling stripped but it is a shampoo and I love it um I don't know what else to say, so I've been using this, and I wash my hair once a week on Saturday. Saturdays is like my hair day. It's what I'm going to be doing that's going to be carrying me over to next week. Um, so, this is what I wash my hair with, shampoo. After I get finished washing my hair, I deep condition, and I'm going to either, if, if I'm using the curls line, I'm going to use my Ecstasy Hair Tea Conditioner, if I'm using that. But I, like I said, I haven't been using this line. So, after I shampoo with my Shea Moisture... I deep condition with my Hello Hydration Herbal Essences, and I love this. Um, and let me tell you how I wash my hair. I part my hair into four sections. I take down the two sections, and I wash it first, rinse it, pin it back up. Wash this section, then rinse it, pin it back up. Um, use my top turbo twisty little thing that I got from CVS to dry my hair, and then I do this. What I do is I take this section, um, divide it back in twos, and I work, I divide this one, because I have two sections now, I divide this section into twos, and I detangle the first section, and I braid it. Detangle this section, braid it. Go to the back, do the same thing, this side, this side. So I wind up having two, four, six, eight, about eight braids that I have detangled and conditioned my hair. And I put that in a plastic baggie, and um, I leave that on for whatever I choose to. Usually it's been about two or three hours. It could be an hour. It just depends on how much I have time to do. But, um, and then I take each braid under the water, rinse the braid, unravel it, comb through again, and braid it back up. That's how I keep my hair from, um, getting back tangled. But I love that. If you have not tried this conditioner, I suggest you do. Um, when I was relaxed, I never would have thought to use this, but it's really, really good. Love it. I love the way it makes my hair feel. Okay. That's shampoo and conditioners. Um... After I finish washing and conditioning my hair on Saturdays, and I'm having it in braids, I'm going to get ready to put in my leave-in. The leave-in I've been using lately is this Aussie Hair Insurance. Really, really good. I like Aussie products. Um, the 3 Minute Miracle, I love that, but I haven't been using it. Can't put it in my regimen. <laughs> Can't squeeze it in. But I've been using this, and I was using, when I did the curls, I would mix my Kinky Curly with my jojoba oil, castor oil, and aloe vera juice, which is in my refrigerator. But I haven't been using that. Okay, this is what took me through my first transition, okay? So if you're looking for, if you're starting off and you want a good product line, that's what you need to mix up. Because it makes you, your hair feel like butter. It is so, it's so smooth, that Kinky Curly. And Kimmy Tube has that recipe on YouTube, so I would definitely check her out. But what I've been simply putting in my hair 
It's the Aussie Hair Insurance, and it is beautiful. I love it. Now, if it's the first day of my braid out, or whatever style I'm using, if I want to set my style, I'm going to use two products. The Ed One, and this bottle is so deformed, but this is Ed One with Nature, Natural Herbs and Vitamins, Soft Control, Heat Protection, Detangle to Repairs, Botanical Silky Texture. You can use this for wrapping, blow drying, and setting lotion. I love this stuff. You can find it in a local beauty supply store. Okay? Love this stuff. I do that after I spray my hair with my leave-in. I put this on a section as well as my Miss Jessie Quick Curls because it's going to set your curls really good. And then I do whatever I'm doing. If I'm twisting, braiding, rotting, whatever, I'm going to use these two products on the first day. I'm not going to use any other day. Just to set for the rest of the week. Now, how I maintain throughout the week. I'm either going to use my Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Style Milk to keep it. And you see I'm almost, almost not quite gone, but halfway gone. I use this to put it on. Like if I'm at the end of the day and I come in my room, I'm getting ready to braid or do, redo my hair for the night. Because I braid my hair every night if it's a braid out, but not in so many braids. I just do a couple of them. And if it's in a rod, I don't do nothing. I'll tell you what I do. But if, when the braid out, I'm either going to use that or the Curl Enhancing Smoothie to braid it out. And um, if it's in a rod style, I'm going to pineapple my hair. And the next morning, I'm going to spray with my Hold and Shine Moisture Mist. And if I need some type of oil or moisture, I add the Cream of Nature Oregon Oil Spray. I love this stuff. Makes your hair shiny. It smells great. Good, good product. Or you can use the one and only organ oil, okay? I'm trying not to forget anything, guys. <laughs> okay? Um, and I did leave off something. If I'm deep conditioning too, um, on dry hair, I'm either going to use the Deep Treatment Mask by Shea Marcia because this is really good. Um, because I didn't like it when I first started transitioning, but when I used it the second time, I really, really like it. Or if I need protein... Oh, the Organics Hair Manades. And then after I, this is on dry hair. After I wait for about 30 minutes, shampoo. And use the Silk Elements Mega Silk. That is protein, okay? I haven't been doing any protein lately. Don't know why I don't feel like my hair needs it. It kind of, if my fair hair feels kind of mushy and um, just limp, then I'll do a protein treatment. But my hair hasn't been feeling like that. So I haven't used this in about, since I took my braids out, okay? Um, so that's my regimen for protein. Now, I'm going to do the other regimen with this, just the shampoo and the herbal essences on every other wash day. Now, I will say this. Before I shampoo my hair, I take an hour before and I put olive oil all through my hair and do a small detangle. I don't detangle all the way. I just get it in there where I can work the olive oil in. Okay, and then I shampoo. That's like, that makes my hair feel great. Now, you might not want to do that, but that's my, that's my suggestion. That's what's been working for me. So I'll put that olive oil on there. I'll wait about 45 minutes to an hour. Then I'll go in with my Shea Moisture or my curls and wash. I always do my olive oil. I call that my pre-poo. That's all I need, okay? I don't have to mix up a lot of different products. Olive oil, and I'm straight, okay? If I'm co-washing. If I'm going through the week and my hair just feels ick, I'll co-wash. Don't co-wash a lot. My 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 styles last the entire week, but if I it has been times where I do have to co-wash. I'll either use the herbal essences totally twisted or the long-term relationship to co-wash, okay? VO5 works. Any of any type of conditioner that has moisture on it will work. Clarifying. I do clarify my hair every... I haven't clarified my hair this month, except when I took my braids out. Um, I try to do it every month. If I skip a month, it's every two months. But I use the Neutrogena Shampoo to clarify. Really good. This has been lasting me, okay? It's like, it's really cheap too. I'm trying not to forget anything. Heat protectant. The type of heat protection I use is Nexus. Heat protects if I'm blow drying. I haven't flat ironed my hair since the beginning of my transition. 
I don't see myself flattening out in my hair anytime soon. So, but if I do blow dry my hair, like I wore a ponytail the other week. I don't know what hit me to do it. I just blow dried it on cool setting, well, medium setting, but I did use my heat protectant just in case. Okay. Styling aids. If you're looking for a good moisturizer, a lot of people use shea butter. Haven't found a shea butter that works for me. I've mixed my own. I have bought shea butter. Mm. Just, I don't like it. It doesn't, it doesn't, it makes my hair look, um, it makes my hair look dull. And I like shine. I don't like my hair looking dull because as naturals, you know that our people could, you know, our hair can be dry. So I don't want it to look dry. I want it to look shiny and moisturized. Okay. So what's been working for me is the Doris New York Olive Oil. I think this is the heavy cream. I love this stuff. Mm, it smells okay. It smells like a hair, a hair aid, but this is how thick it is. Okay, and this is how much I've used. <laughs> So I put this on my hair when my hair is just dry and I need some oil. I need some moisture. Okay, I need something in it. Now, I was going to tell you how I did my hair today. This um, hair is not held by gel. It is actually held by the olive oil smooth and hold pudding. Looks like that. Yeah, if you can see that. Oh, I hate my camera sometimes. Looks like that. Smells pretty good. They make one for little girls too. If you like, if you want a milder smell, you can get the one for little girls. It's in a pink bottle, a pink jar like this. But what I did is I did four big plaits last night because I was lazy, and because I'm always I'm going to take at least five minutes every night and put my hair up. Okay, I sleep on a satin pillowcase, but I'm always going to put my hair up. Okay, it's not going to stay just out. Maybe when I become all the way natural and I do like um the wash and goes, then I'll have to do it like that. But I'm always going to try to put my hair up. So I did four plaits, and I used this to plait it up. Got up this morning, took them out, sprayed my hair with a little bit of water, took some of this in my hand, smoothed it, smoothed it, brush, 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 because I didn't want it, um, like, really flat, like, really to my head. I wanted it to look messy. If I want it to my head, I'm going to use my either Eco Styler or my Fantasia IC Olive styling gel and if I use the styling gel I'm gonna put that back and put a scarf on my hair to make all my little hairs hold down okay and it's gonna hold all day and uh, but I didn't want to do that type of um that type of style you know where I wanted it all flat back I just wanted it messy so this is a soft hold this is a hard hold okay but if you do want to do a hard hold I suggest when you put the gel on and you brush it really good back you put a satin scarf and you tie it tight around your head to make your hair sit down. I would suggest leaving that on for about 20 to 30 minutes. You get up at the beginning. If you're doing, if you're like me and have to go early in the morning, I have to do that um, right when I get up. Before I put my makeup on, before I brush my teeth, anything, I'll do that so that I have time for my hair to really set with the, um, the gel. Okay? So, like for this style, I just took that curling, that curling hole putting, slicked it, took this little, I use a goodie band. No metal on this at all, and I tied it around my neck twice and slick it back. Then I took this piece, went around, pinned this piece, went around, pinned, and I got my little messy bun here. Okay, very easy for today. Took me like five minutes. Okay, that's the type of style I like to do. Um, I think that's it. Wow, 13 minutes, not bad. I'm looking at everything and making sure. Okay, so. Like I said, my regimen is I wash once a week um, using the products that I showed you. I deep condition once a week. Um, my styles usually last the entire week until next wash day. Um, or if it doesn't, I can co-wash and try to do a different style, but I don't usually do that. Um, I started off this week with a braid out, but um, I wore my beanie and with some hair out. I think I came and did a video with that on. And um, now I just got a bun because I have choir practice tonight. So um, I have to do something. And that's it. That's all my products. Um, that's what I use now. I'm a product junkie though. So if I see somebody on YouTube using something that makes their hair look spectacular, I'm going to definitely order it or try to find it. Even if I don't use it a lot. But I've um, 
Every product that I've come across, I pretty much liked because I do a lot of research before I spend money on different types of products. But all these products that I showed are currently in my regimen, except for my curls right now. They're not in there as much. Um, and my protein. I haven't been using it as much. But um, mo the majority of the other stuff is, is in my regimen. And this stuff is like my new baby. I loved my one and only organ oil. This is good. This is good. It's just a gloss and shine mist. It just, you know, gives you that, I don't know if you can tell, that shine. I love it. So that's my product regimen, my products. That is my hair regimen. If you have any more questions, you can comment below or inbox me. And that's it. Um, remember, don't forget to request videos if you have anything you want me to discuss or any product that you want me to review that you saw in my regimen or anything that you see that you want me to talk about, okay? So I wish you guys a great weekend and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, okay? Bye, friends.